I've been very vocal on this channel about my disapproval of the formula that most comic book movies have fallen into. Now, I don't think Logan broke out of this mold. I think it actually rebuilt it, in a way, by adopting its structure from different genres and different great works that already have an established meaning, it elevated the movie. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thematically, Logan draws a lot of inspiration from westerns and noir films, two of the most classic types of American film. By doing this, Logan isn't able to fully escape the comic book movie label, but it's able to use the depth and history of these film types to construct a story within the framework of these great American stories. And this elevates Logan out of being just another superhero movie to being a story with a bigger, more meaningful purpose. Logan draws more specific inspiration from two different works. The first is the great American Western Shane. Uh, obviously we see Charles and Laura watching Shane in the Las Vegas hotel room, and Laura eulogizes Logan with the final speech from Shane. These two films also have similar overarching plots. Shane is the story of a family, and so is Logan. Shane is the story of an outlaw, and so is Logan. But I think the really interesting stuff is the differences between these movies. In Shane, the mother and the son must choose between the wild gunslinger and the domesticated farmer. They end up choosing the farmer, and so the traditional family stays intact. In Logan, there is no traditional family. Charles is the father figure, Logan is the son character, but Laura is a child without a mother. In this world, science has replaced the direct need for a mother and thereby destroyed the essential need for a traditional family. In fact, the one time we do see a traditional family in this movie, in a very on-the-nose metaphor, they're being brutally murdered by a creation of science. In this world, there is no biological necessity for a traditional family, and yet, family remains. And the implication of this is that there is a role of the family that is outside of the physical, meaning that even if it's not a physical or a biological necessity, if that goes away, something remains, which implies that there is a spiritual value to having a family structure. The other great work that Logan references is the biblical story. And part of me actually thinks they did this accidentally because Shane was originally written as a metaphor for Christ. Shane rides into the valley and saves the people there, and as he's riding off into the sunset, they beg him to say. So we have Christ becomes Shane, and Shane becomes Logan, so there's an obvious connection between the story of Logan and the story of Christ. And I think the best scene to illustrate this is the final scene, where you have Laura eulogizing Logan, and her substitute for a prayer is the final speech from Shane. And that makes the very final shot of this movie even more poignant, of turning the cross over into an X. For me, Logan was a great superhero movie because it drew from bigger sources. The use of those famous styles and symbols showed that a superhero movie could have a purpose bigger than just to entertain. Any story can entertain an audience, but a good story, a great story, has to have a meaning behind it. And I think the, the message that Logan conveyed to me was that this genre may be young, the comic book genre, it may be young, but that doesn't mean it can't convey the grand meanings of the older works. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.